lake that the Bible goes into a lot of detail on is the story of the frogs. Some of them it glosses over the frogs, it gives us a lot of detail. And I think it's really funny because what it says is that Pharaoh had frogs in his bed, frogs in his ovens, and frogs in his bath. I mean, that's slimy, isn't it? <laughs> Picture yourself as a little frog. Okay, you are a little frog. Would you say to yourself, hmm, I think I'll go hang out in an oven? <laughs> of course not. No frog would willingly go in an oven unless there was absolutely no place else to go. So it must have just been so crowded with frogs that the frogs even went into the oven. It was just hopping. The place was hopping. And so here Pharaoh is, and he's got frogs coming out of the wazoo. They're just everywhere. And he says to Moses, Moses, come and pray to God to take away the frogs. And Moses says, no problem. When would you like me to do this? Anybody remember what Pharaoh said? Tomorrow, exactly. The man says, you can pray tomorrow. <laughs> the man had frogs in his bed. He's saying he would rather spend one more night with the frogs than see God actually work. And let me tell you, ladies, a lot of you are sleeping with frogs. <laughs> with things that make us miserable because we would rather do that to some extent than have God actually work. 